Hey, welcome back to this mini lecture. This one's on predictive policing. My name is Dino. The definition of predictive policing. It is the application of analytical techniques, particularly quantitative, to identify likely targets for police intervention and prevent or solve crime by making statistical predictions. So basically it's using mathematics, high level mathematics and algorithms to so prevent and solve crimes. What's the rationale? Why, why is this being used? Um, unfortunately, uh, human bi decisions, um, when we make decisions, it can display different biases. And so as a result, we can use predictive analytics to help improve these decisions, but there can be problems with that. Um, the focus of predictive policing is to predict and ideally prevent crime before it occurs. So it's not done after the fact, it's kind of done more before the fact using existing data to help um, use past data to help predict future uh, crime problems and hopefully prevent them. Uh, operationalizing uh, predictive policing, how do you actually do it? Um, it's the two different ways to look at predictive policing is both the individual and spatial level. The individual is, is who actually commits crime, and this is where the data uh, consists of personal characteristics, networks, and different behaviors of people. And unfortunately, people that meet these characteristics or are involved in these networks or are engaged in these behaviors, they're the ones where there's more, more police attention paid towards them. Uh, and spatial is more just where crime occurs, and it helps to cross the cluster crime by time and location. So, you know, if there's a neighborhood that's particularly problematic, if there's uh, times of the day, like, you know, after midnight, then uh, more police uh, resources will be directed towards those areas and times. Um, there are a number of ethical issues that are involved in predictive policing, ones like at the societal level. Uh, what should be done with information that could make society safer? Should we be leveraging that information and, as a result, using predictive policing to help prevent future crime? And on an individual level, uh, how should we treat people who share characteristics with those at higher risk of committing crimes? Like, say, if you have someone that isn't going to be committing crimes, but for some reason does share these characteristics, is it fair to them to be treating them uh, more harshly? Those were a number of issues involved in predictive policing. Uh, please feel free, free to, to subscribe to this channel, uh, hit the like button or comment below. Thanks for watching. Take care.